Hey, what's up guys? This is GP7 Newfound Motorsports here and welcome back to a weird text box. Yeah, this is my 50 subscriber special. Okay, well, I've as of this recording, I've got 52 subscribers, so I may be a little bit late, but yeah, so this box here. The wind picks up and while irrelevant dust blows around you, a scrap of paper flies towards you eventually hitting you in the face in a manner most assuredly comical. Kind of weird, because we're inside, but whatever. <laughs> uh, while such encounters might be dismissed by others as chance, your adventures have left you knowing that such events are often the result of things beyond your comprehension, though many things are beyond your comprehension, such as multiplication, not going to the bathroom outside of your armor and words longer than four letters. Nevertheless, you pocket the scrap, making a mental note to find someone to read aloud to you later. Okay, so... Yeah. Uh... Don't know what that was about. Anyway, so yeah, it said something about a scrap of paper. Um... Items... Yeah, don't worry about that. We're gonna get a whole bunch of these because I... Uh, failed an update to Sky UI, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, don't worry about those. Uh, so a scrap of paper. Books. Um, scrap of paper, scrap of paper, scrap... There it is, right there. Arnings, however. Second... Uh, point out that the storms were too localized and brief flow stops lead scouts to confirm our suspensions that a car stangas behind whatever a Dwimmer weather witch was <laughs> still in operation uh, following Chronographer protocols 14A Y E M. The current serving centuries performed the necessary orbital rituals at uh, uh, south of the Nordic city of Falkreath, near a small place locally known as Haldir's Cairn. The uh, through a small tunnel of traveling uh, traveling by pack fabricant matches. The Lost Laboratory of Rithamas. As your eternity now knows, Rithamas, translation of... Okay, so apparently we have to go to Falkreath, uh, to south of uh, Falkreath, to Haldir's Cairn. And by the way, as I'm sure you'll see, um, if I have to load a game, uh, then, you know, I've, I've actually... Uh, I've actually uh, been to this. Uh, I've actually been to this dungeon, but I haven't actually crawled it. So yeah, what you're gonna see is actual, you know, my actual reaction. So down here, it's right uh, there. Haldir's Cairn. Come on. Yeah, it's a book. Books are good. Books are books. You read books. and Okay. So here we are at Haldir's Cairn. And I'm on the pathway right now. And if... Yeah. Right there it is. Literally uh, from the spawn point, which is about here. You turn... And there's the... Um, there's Haldir's Cairn over there. You turn left... And about 10 yards this way, it's right here, and Saran is following me. I suppose I should get a weapon equipped. Yeah, that would be helpful. A uh, crossbow. Here we go. And, yeah, in case you haven't, uh, in case you haven't been able to put two and two together right now, um, this is Ethernautics, a space travel mod. Wow, I went almost five minutes into a video without... Mentioning the name of the mod, but yeah, it's uh, it's um, it's a uh, Ethernox a space travel mod, uh, one of the coolest sounding mods that I've 
uh, seen. And I think it's also one of the most downloaded, at least on the Skyrim Nexus. I know it's got a crazy number of downloads on the Steam Workshop. But yeah, here we are in the Rathamas Mountains. And wow, I actually expect it to be underground, but I don't guess it is. So what is this? Do we... This is some sort of uh, campsite here, it looks like, or some, you know, something like that. Um, so, sorry about all that noise that you're hearing. That's uh, a couple of guys have come to work on my uh, to work on my gas because we're having gas problems. So yeah, uh, Dwemer cogs. Hmm. Whole bunch of Dwemer cogs here that are all lootable, and the Ethereum wars. Uh, you hear that? That was a weird sound effect. Yeah, let's see. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to take all these Dwemer cogs. If only there's a chest. Yeah, I think I might have to take these Dwemer cogs because they may come in handy later on in the dungeon. I'm not too entirely sure, but wow. Those are all custom sound effects there. I really wish Serana was here to to take some of my stuff, but she's not. Hmm. Um, what can I afford to drop from my inventory? This glass dagger. How much does one of these weigh? Uh, ten pounds. Jeez. Uh, so yeah. There's no way I'm going to be able to... Oh, well, that's great. I'm encumbered now. Um, so I'll need to get rid of something. Notes on Yungal Barrow. Pro proper lock design. Uh, hold on. Okay, so yeah, I've already uh, gotten all I need about all that, so... Okay, so plunging forward. I'm not sure if we'll need all those cogs. I don't think we will, but if uh, if we need them, pretty much done because there's no way I was gonna be able to get rid of enough inventory stuff to be able to, you know, take all those cogs. That would be well. That'd be what, at least 200 pounds at least. So, over this bridge here take a moment to admire the view pretty sweet for a for a dungeon wow yeah there's there's really good there's a nice there's a nice view there um so what is this what are we coming up to here Just some sort of pipe and I think we can walk yep we can walk across this awesome wow I just now noticed this this friggin' dungeon is atmospheric as heck. I mean, just drink in, look at the view, and uh, listen to the sounds as closely as closely as you can. Not, uh, which is not too closely, I'll admit. But wow, just the sounds are just amazing. In fact, I'm gonna turn it up so you can get more backwash from my spree from my speakers. Or actually, no. Here we go. I've got a better idea than that. There we go. So you can actually get some of the backwash from my speakers because my uh, headphones were hooked up. Okay, so across this sort of balcony here. Uh, pipes and stuff down there. This is very, very, very interesting. <clears throat> For some reason, I just feel like breaking out into song I guess it's because of I guess it's because it looks like sort of a view that you might hear about in like a Nightwish song or something I don't know if you haven't heard of Nightwish then you don't know what you're missing out on go look uh, go look up some of their music they're freaking amazing so yeah Rathamas Flip the lever here, flip the lever here, flip the lever here. Okay, now that's it just scratched. <laughs> so now we shall find out what Rathamas has in store for us. 
Ooh, look at that. Am I stuck? No. Look at that, dude. Is that, is that lava custom? I, I'm not sure. I don't think I remember seeing lava before in, in Skyrim. I mean, uh, Oblivion has it, but, you know, that's another game entirely. So, okay, yeah, here we are. And this looks like the way forward here. I'm going to cloak. I'm going to be sneaky. I'm going to be sneaky and sneak up on these bastards. Because there have to be a few bastards in this dungeon, right? So. Yeah, what is around here? This is all very dwemery and cool looking. I really like, you know, how... I always liked how the Dwemer ruins looked. I mean, how well kept they look and how they uh, somehow still look abandoned like that there. Like we've got this super shiny gate that looks like it's just recently been maintained. And then we've got the stone over here that uh, tells you this place hasn't been, you know, used by anyone for friggin' centuries. So yeah. Uh, wow. Dude, check this out. This is just crazy. Mm. It's also really friggin' bright. And it's a good thing I'm sneaking, and I've got that, uh, sneak perk that, um, I think it's called Lightfoot, where you can, uh, sneak over triggers without activating them. So, yeah. Damn lucky, otherwise I would have been skewered there. Uh, I think I would have been skewered, at least I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, I'm not too tempted to find out. Um, and we've got a campfire here that I can't jump over, and that's been out for centuries because the logs have turned to stone. Yeah. So that's too friggin' old. And what do we have over here? Who's this? Ooh. Oh, that looks cool. It looks like um, some sort of prophetic engraving of some sort. Uh, that looks like a throne. I don't know. He of the scaled people shall sit on this throne someday or something. I don't know. Anyway, so ignoring that. Uh, going down here. You know, we've moved in basically a straight line this entire time. I wonder if... We've got a severe turn coming up because a linear dungeon is a boring dungeon. Okay, so yeah. Here we're going to have to turn. Ooh, lava. Bask in the warmth. Ooh. Oh, shit. A fucking centurion from hell. Look at that thing. How am I going to beat this guy? Okay, I'm going to save here. So yeah, you can see I've uh, already been in Rathamas. So save. Thank you. And then I'm not sure how in the world I'm going to beat this thing. Okay, that was a... Uh, that doesn't take a lot of damage. Amazing. Oh, I'm still alive. Good, good, good. Go, 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 go. Get, get out of there. Run, run, run. Shh. Ah. Uh. Okay. Potions, 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 potions. Uh, potion of healing, potion of healing, potion of healing, potion of healing. Ah. Uh. Okay. Uh, potion of... Don't want to waste our ultimate healing yet, I don't think. Uh, potion of my minor... Oh, we're already full, so... Ah, I really hate how you can Fusro die you. That's annoying. Yeah, just stand there for a second or two, dude. That's not dangerous at all. Just got us killed. Okay, so yeah, this video is about 15 minutes in length, so I'm just going to end this part here, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Uh, in the next part, we plunge farther into Ruthamas and we do some badass stuff I guess probably I'm not sure I'm sure we will though so yeah see you guys in the next part we'll deal with this guy here promptly GP75 out